Hello CS121 students. In this video I want to show you how you can connect to Onyx from your Windows machine. So if you're on a Mac, there are videos for Mac, so you can go find those. Um, but here we're going to show from Windows. So the first thing that we have to do to get this set up is to actually install some sort of program to be able to connect to Onyx from Windows on the network. And the one that we're going to use in this class is called MOBA Xterm. Pull open a web browser. If I just search for MOBA Xterm, it should pop up as one of the first search results. And it's MOBA Xterm.mobatech.net. And then you're in the right place. So your home page will look something like this. To download it, we can just scroll down and say, get MOBA Xterm now. And you just need the free edition. You don't need all the fancy stuff that you pay for. So I'm going to click download now. And I'm going to use the installer edition. And that's going to start downloading. Should be pretty quick. And once it's done, we can click on it so that it opens up and it'll tell us it's preparing to install. So if I click next and we can accept the license, you might want to read through it, make sure they don't want your firstborn child. Click next and I'm good just installing it in the default location. So click next again and then install. And it will ask you if you want to allow these um, changes to be made to your system. We're going to say yes because we know what we're doing here. And that is it. So pretty quick download and install of the program that we need. The next thing that we need to do then is open it up. It should put an icon on your desktop. And it takes a bit longer to open the very first time that you run it. So you may have to wait a few minutes while it just configures everything. And we can allow access here. All right, so I'm moving this to full screen. Um, we probably, you probably noticed that there's a lot going on here. What we're gonna focus on right now is to actually create a session that's going to connect to Onyx. If we go to the session tab, we have all these different types of sessions that we can do. We're going to use SSH, so secure shell. If I click on that, it's going to ask me for my remote host. The remote host that we're connecting to is Onyx. So I'm going to say onyx.boisestate.edu. I'm going to specify my username so I don't have to enter it every time. This is going to be your Onyx username. Mine just happens to be my first name, Marissa, but yours is probably something like the first letter of your first name followed by um, the first few letters of your last name. We're going to connect on port 22. And there are other settings here. Um, like X11 forwarding allows us to launch programs that are graphical like KWrite, so we can leave that on. Compression can make things a little bit faster. You can kind of read through things if you want, but that's all we're going to do. So I'll click OK. Now it's going to save it over here so I have my same settings every time. And it'll ask my Onyx password. Do you want to save it? I'm going to just say no this time. I'll leave that up to you if you're comfortable doing that. I typically don't like to save my password. But once we're here, notice we get that message just like you see when you log in to Onyx um, from one of the work machines in the lab. And I can use all the commands that I'm used to from the lab as well. So I can type ls to see all my files. I can type cd cs121 to go into that directory and ls to list everything. Um, 
So let's say that I'm on here and I want to edit my file hello world.java. So if I use the cat command to print the contents right away, notice it says um, hello world, blah, blah, blah. Well, it says it prints hello world, but I lied. So let's say that I want to fix this. So one way that you can change your files on Onyx from your machine here is to go into this tab over here navigate to it this way and you'll notice you get this MOBA text editor. So right here I can say it prints hello class, make the change, save it, either control S or click the save and it's gonna say do you want to replace the remote file on Onyx with this one that I just changed? Yes, I sure do. It'll copy it over. Now if I cat hello world.java on here, notice it, my changes are saved on Onyx. Now the other thing I can do is once I have my files on Onyx the way I want them, I can test all the Java programs I want. So I can say Java C hello world.java because remember we are just running exactly like you would be sitting in the lab. Compile it. Now if I run Java Hello World, it says Hello Class, but it runs and we can start to develop programs and you can start to test things this way. Um, this should get you through the first few weeks of class. If you don't have time to install Java on your own computer, you don't want to get Eclipse set up right away for some reason, hopefully you do and you have time to do that, but at least there's one way here that you can get onto the lab and start writing programs. That's it um, for this. If When you're done with Onyx here, I can click the X and that will end the session. And then I can exit MOBA X term if I need to. Um, so up next, I'll show you guys, looking kind of forward, how to install Java on your computer.